It might be my internet, just so everyone knows. Hi, welcome back. It might be my internet, because I, as I said, the weather is shitty here today. So hold on, let me... Okay, I'm gonna try to add Leah back. Sorry, guys. Okay. No, I think it was my fault because I was trying really? to close. I was trying to close something and like it oh. needed to like go off and come back on. Yeah, so that's um, my fault. Anyway, yes, oh, I'm a homebody. You're a homebody, and what you were saying is that people might think you're extroverted, but you're actually an introvert, which is shocking to me because you and I are both from New York City. We know a lot of people in common. Yep. I, I mean, I've heard about you. You're fucking notorious <laughs> in New York. And you're you are like, too. You're wait, I actually just, wait, I met one of your friends at brunch the other day. It was at brunch. I know. And she's so sweet, and she's dating this guy that I know. Yeah, that's so funny and random. She was like, she, you know my friend. <laughs> She texted me and she was like, should I say hi to her? I was like, she's super cool. Go say hi to her. She's like, yes. there, by the way. She, oh, is anyway. she? That's so interesting. Yeah. She's like one of my best friends. She's super um, cool. She's so nice. <laughs> Next question. What's the last thing that made you laugh super hard? I don't know. I, it probably something mean that someone said about someone else. Like probably... <laughs> <laughs> wow, you are a true housewife. Probably like something my sister said that was like terrible about someone. Like we we have such sick, terrible senses of humor. Me and my sister, she makes me laugh like no one else can. So I'm sure she said something yesterday that was just horrible. That if I said out loud, I'd be like canceled in a second. You know, so I mean immediately. So <laughs> definitely that. You and your sister and your brother actually are like definitely one of those families that like everyone wants to be a part of. <laughs> like you guys are like a mean girls group. We're, we're fun. We're definitely like interesting. We keep you entertained. That's for sure. Yeah. yeah. And you're all really good looking, like your brother included. Well, I'm the ugly duckling of the family. No. It's really annoying. No, because, you know, Sarah and Danny are, like, models, or, like, they were models, like, when they wanted to be models. Now they're, like, over it. But, you know, they're, like, super – they're giants. Sarah's, like, 5'9". Danny's, like, 6'4". Um, but, yeah, they're they're beautiful. Thanks, Mom and Dad. Um, it must be nice to be from such a good-looking family. It's, you know, um, it's a lot of pressure. Of looking, what is the most underrated sex position? God, you know, I want to say, like, missionary is actually kind of underrated. Because, like, people think you need to do all this, like, let me put you in this position, that position. It's like, actually, like, I just want to lay here. Like, <laughs> and you do what you do, and you do the work. Um, it also I have feels not been like, having like, any it's sex. My it's my favorite, too. It really is. I mean, yeah. I like, I do like doggy style but it has to be really like it just has to be a, like I have to be in the mood just right it has to be just right exactly if it's not just right it's like not good um yeah, yeah. you know I have it's like it's weird that it's like almost it, you're like not allowed to say that your favorite position is missionary anymore or else I you're know. Like, it's like then you're then you're it's just boring you know yeah. um it's the best one though it feels the best yeah, I haven't had sex in a really long time. <laughs> I actually, and I will tell you this, I broke quarantine early on. Like, it was, like, maybe, like, four weeks into quarantine, and I lied to my family and said that I was, I never said this to anybody publicly. I hope I'm not going to get in trouble. I lied and said that I was going to Luann's house to have tea. And you were going house. to get sick. And I said I was getting an Uber, and oh my god, I pray Rob's not watching this right now. And instead I had the guy pick me up at the end of the driveway, in the rain, and bring me to his house, and have sex, and then drop me back off. And I said I was having tea with Luann. Because I knew Luann, Luann's a, good, Luann's a good wing woman, and she would approve of that, you know? And she'd be all good with it. But I knew he was not around a lot of people. I know him very well. Like, you know, he's yeah. an excellent client. Yeah. So it's not like I was putting anyone in danger. But, like, in, in 
I mean, I, I kind we of put my... We have to do what we have to do. I kind of risk my family's lives to get sick. I mean, it's pretty fucked up. But also, like, it was for, for your mental health. It was 100% for my mental health. Are you freaking kidding me? That got me through another two weeks. <laughs> there you go. It was worth it. I think... It, and, and everyone's fine. So. Everyone's fine. Everyone's fine. Uh, what is the most overrated sex position? Um, probably like, oh my God, 69ing. Ugh. I Ugh. hate it. Why uh, is it? Why? It's is it so lame? lame. I hate so when lame. guys try to get me to do that. I'm like, I'm not doing this. This is stupid. I don't want to be like on top of you. Like, like, it's I'm also trying to it's like. You can focus on one or the other. Right. I can't do both. It's just too hard. Like, like let me just, yeah, let me enjoy like this, this, you know, and then I'll take care of you, right? <laughs> That's what 69 is. <laughs> That's exactly oh what I'm You're right. You're so right. Um, what has been your most useful purchase under $40? Like, maybe um, something you use every day or... Probably, even though I feel like this is more than $40. Um, well, something cheap. I mean, even though, like, my scented candles are really expensive, but, like, they also change the energy. They, like, make me feel so good. It's a simple pleasure. It's a, it's a luxury, but it's also a simple pleasure in a way. Um, Hold on, your scented candles cost more than $40? Well, I mean, it depends. Like, I've been, I've been using this, this new, this it's not new, but Byredo. I've been buying all their shit lately, and yeah, I think it's like seventy five bucks or something. But whatever, YOLO. <laughs> we all choose our luxuries. You know, it's a great place to buy candles. I, I'm addicted to candles. Um, but at, at one point, I had eighty six candles like in my house. Wow. It's a thing. But the best place to buy scented candles is Home Goods or like TJ Maxx or Marshalls. Because they have no, really I... good brands for so Do they? Cheap. Yeah. But you have oh, to like, I didn't know that. Big, and they'll have like two. Oh my God, cool. That's great. Hot Wait, tank. more. hold on. Mordecai is saying we're going to need a $40 purchase. But honestly, I really just, I don't know what to say for $40. I mean, that's, it's like, you know. <laughs> I You're just like, don't know. <laughs> and not one by 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 Rado. Oh, you know what? There was a sale at Corso Como, and I got this one. That smells really like it. It literally smells like actual flowers. Well, so candles. <laughs> um. Okay. Next question. What is your ultimate romantic fantasy? And it doesn't have to be sexual. Oh yeah, no, of course not. I my ultimate romantic fantasy is just like meeting a guy who's not a moron, you know, honestly. Like at this point. Um that is my <laughs> ultimate fantasy is meeting someone You might be setting your standards is, too high. I know, I know, I just tend to do that. Um I just like want someone that I just my ultimate such my ultimate romantic fantasy is meeting someone that I'm going to fall in love with and like, you know, having them surprise me with like a trip to the Maldives. And then like, also like when we get there, there's like a bunch of Chanel bags, like laying on the bed that are for me. <laughs> Wait, hold on. This started off so wholesome and pure. And then <laughs> it got I ratchet so cool. I figured I'd step it up. I mean, you said I, you know, my expectation. I'm like, you're right. I need to aim higher. So I mean, yeah, yeah, ultimately, sure. I would take purses any day like that. That is romance. <laughs> it is. Um, what piece of current media would you currently recommend? Could be a book, TV show, internet show, movie, podcast. Of course, you have your podcast, Improper Etiquette, and then you also yeah. have your show. Right. You New York, but I've been I've watch? been listening um, to this podcast, Red Scare, and it's fucking amazing is it like a crime one no it's kind of political but like kind of 
it's like these two girls, these Russian girls, they're American, but like Russian. I think they were actually born, like came when they were very young here. But um, they are just, it's like commentary on like current issues, you know? Yeah. And they were like Bernie girls, but like they're still kind of socialist, but like they're also like anti-censorship and like anti-political correctness, but are like super progressive. So it's an interesting, refreshing podcast that I like. I, everything you said, totally relate to. You would love it. You would love it. Okay. You should listen to I'm it. Get Red Scare? Red Scare, yeah. Okay, listen. Uh, what is the perfect amount of time to have sex? Probably like 35 minutes. That's pretty long. Is it? Well, I'm, I take a while. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> 35. I feel like 35. Yeah. No more than that. No more than that. That's like a really good session. You know session, what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah, I, I think like people have this misconception that sex is supposed to last like two hours. Yeah. No, it's, no. Who wants to do that. Right. Um, that's only in porns. Totally. Um, if you could, and even then, even a porno is like, a porno is actually 35 minutes. Oh, wow. Like, and that, I said that's 35. <laughs> that's like the exact time we go for. Like, I'm not getting, not one minute more or less. <laughs> that's so fucked up. You are truly a product. I, of uh, honestly, I was a porn star porn. in my past life, so. Um, if you could wake up tomorrow morning next to anyone in the world, who would it be? Am I Hold on, you cut out for one second. What'd you say? Am I frozen again or no? No, you're not anymore. Okay, good. No, someone called and I had to decline. Um, am I waking up to them like naked? Is it like a sexual thing or it could be like anyone? You could. Um, I don't know because like originally this question was meant to be sexual, but then like I think someone said like their mother or something and like, because like, obviously it'd be, like, my grandmother who, like, passed away. Like, yeah. even though that's, you know, but, like, but if it was, like, not a, someone like that, if it was sexual, then it would be Rihanna. <laughs> so your grandma or Rihanna. <laughs> yes. Rihanna is a very good company, then. <laughs> you should be honored. <laughs> um, how do you cheer yourself up when you're down? I try not to um like focus too much on when I'm down like I'm just like okay you know tomorrow's a new day and I'm gonna probably feel better and I don't try to make myself I don't put pressure on feeling better you know like I'm just like I feel like shit and it's all good yeah like you write it out yeah like I don't stress over it anymore like I you know because I've had so many like issues with depression and like feeling like shit and everything and at this point I know that it's probably not gonna last that long so like I can just you know I think the best thing is to not stress over it like because I used to stress out like oh my god now I'm not feeling good I'm gonna not feel good tomorrow or the next day uh, when am I gonna feel good again and it's yeah. like now I'm just it's all good yeah uh what's one sex tip that you would like to pass on to the next generation <laughs> And I don't mean kids, like, I mean, like, you know, 18 and up. Yeah. Um, practice safe sex. Yeah. That's a good I mean, that's it. Practice safe sex because, you know, uh, it's important. I think that's, yeah, that's totally. Also, like, I feel like I can't help but think so much about sex when we talk about, like, even, like, corona and, like, how we're wearing masks. It's such, like, a, to me, it's, like, such a metaphor of, like, Fucking. I know. I know. Um, and the final question is, if you could have any question or mystery in the universe answered right here, right now, what would you ask? Oh, my God. Um, I originally, like, when you first said it, I'm like, is there an afterlife? You know? But I think that, like, I wouldn't even want to know that. I don't yeah. want to even know. Like, I think that I want... I think I would want to know who killed Jean Benet Ramsey. Me too. Seriously? Me too. I want to know. Too. I mean, I I hope to God we find out before I die. 
I know, but the thing is, the mom's dead. Isn't the, the dad dead. dead now too? I think it's I think it's the brother, right? Like that's my leading guess. And then the then the parents covered up for him, right? And, which and is like, understandable. Wrote, and wrote the note. Yeah. I think it's understandable. Like I if I I mean, I could see myself doing that for a kid. Right, for your kid. Like so yeah, but like then again, like the kid's die. not I don't know, but he, but the, 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 she was like sexually abused and shit. Mm -hmm. Like, do we think the brother's that psycho? I guess. People but are also, it said she, I think it said like she was like sexually abused, like not full on like P and V penetration. Right. It was just like, it was like fingers or something or something. So that, right. So it's more me, like, kind of, like childish. Like maybe he was maybe like curious. Was like I, I want to know. That's what I would. I would. I want to know who killed John Bonet. Yeah, me too. I can't believe you said that. Like, same. We're both. We're such '90s kids. The the fact that we both want to that. We're such '90s kids. That that's what our big thing is. Not about aliens or Jesus Christ or afterlife or scientific or anything. We're like John Bonet. Ramsey. John Bonet. <laughs> um. <laughs> all right. Well, I hope. I hope for our sake, we find out one day. Actually, I wanted to ask you something because I saw your outfit for the reunion. Fucking gorgeous, first of thank all. Thank you. Thank you. You looked incredible. And I noticed yeah. that you had a mask that went with your dress. It was obviously yeah. like part of the whole ensemble. Like, yeah. is that how people are shooting things now? Because like everything I shoot is at home by myself. Like, no, what? no, no. We, that was literally just for, it's not like we're wearing masks like at the reunion talking. Okay. You know what I mean? It was just part yeah. of my outfit. That I took a picture with it, you know? So are like, so for people who are shooting, like, is it just like, people are just shooting? Like, you mean TV shows and shit? Yeah. Yeah. People aren't shooting with masks on. They have to get, there's a lot of protocol, you know, like crazy, like you have, like for reunion, we had to get tested twice for COVID, including the day before and rapid tests, you know? So yeah. there's really zero chance that anyone, we had to get tested three days before, then again, one day before, stay six feet apart at all times, except for hair and makeup. And they wore masks and everyone on set wore masks, except for us when we were sitting down and, you know, or in our dressing rooms or whatever. So it was insane protocol. No one's getting sick. You know what I mean? So, so it's, it's almost like everything's a porn shoot now. Cause in porn, we get tested right before our shoots as well. Yeah obviously in a different way, but, and obviously right. corona because it's like, not airborne, but you know, you pass it. But wow, okay, yeah. so interesting. Yeah, like I was getting that question a lot because everybody knows I know you. So the second like you started Housewives, like everyone was texting me like, oh my God, your friend's the new Housewife. Oh, oh my God, that's so cool. <laughs> it's super cool, but it's also interesting because like, even when I was introing you for this, I'm like, Leah from the Housewives and it's like but I know you as so much more than that I know I know it's cool because now people are like oh like they're finding out about my brand or like finding out about things I've done like before the show so it's cool you know has life for you like totally changed um it's not like totally changed you know because um well we're in quarantine and yeah. You know, I just feel like it's been elevated and I have more opportunity and more, I have more eyes on the brand and me and, you know, like there's opportunities coming my way that maybe wouldn't have if, you know, um, not for the show. So it's changed, but it's also the same. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah, maybe um, in like a year or two, it'll be really different, but it's not right now, you know. So. Are, like, how, is there talk about like already shooting the next season or can you not say? Um... I think that we're like gearing up to be doing that at some point in the near future. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna other, be other Bravo shows are shooting, you know, so uh -huh. they're doing it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I guess like maybe all the cast members are in like a pod. <laughs> <laughs> no, but they're shooting Jersey and they're like at restaurants and shit. I see, but they probably have less like restrictions. I honestly don't know. I think it's going to be like a, touch and go situation where we're not exactly sure like yeah I, but we have to make it happen obviously yeah obviously people I mean, need, people need content exactly people need content now more than ever you know so um okay my last question i want to know i'm really curious like what do your what do your daughter and your baby daddy 
think of the show? Like, are they loving it or are they like, what have you done? Oh, no, no, no. They love it. Rob, Rob really loves it. My daughter is like, is happy for me, but also like, we don't talk about it that much. You know, like I like to show her like, I obviously like send her like my, my reunion look and I show her everything. And like, I like her input on how I look about things. Cause she's honest. She'll be like, you look terrible in that. That's a disgusting outfit or, Oh my God. Someone just said Rob's hot as fuck. Sorry. Hi Eric. Um, and so I like getting her opinion and she thinks it's fun. Like that part of it. So she's happy for me. She's really happy for me. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I can only imagine like if I were that age, like growing up in New York city, and my mom was a fucking Bravo housewife, I'd be like super happy about it. Like I'd, um, I'd, I'd be like up. in, I know, I'd be in heaven. Um, a dream <laughs> I'd be definitely in heaven. Like, yeah, so she's no, she's happy. She is, I mean, but yeah. she's like a kid. She's still like, she's just on her Xbox and like talking to her friends on FaceTime and I'm not cool and Rob's not cool and we're annoying. So that's so that's actually really discouraging to hear because I can't imagine two parents like it doesn't get cooler than you guys like she's you is so freaking are, lucky. Like, cool young parents. First of all, Rob just got her the off white Jordans. Okay. Like she's the lucky like what like are you kidding me Kiki like yeah. I can't Luck is kid alive but I guess I guess kids are just kids and they are it's like that it's like that one photograph of um one of the Obama kids, I can't remember which one, but she was, she's just like cringing at her dad. Like, and it's like, her dad is the fucking president of the it's Obama, United States. Like, and yeah. you're so miserable. <laughs> that's funny, actually. I have I've never seen that picture. But yeah, that's like- I'll, I'll send it to you. Yeah, send it to me. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, honey. Um, it was so good to see you. Thank you. I hope to see you in real life. Oh so my God. Like a Botox date to Dr. Linker. Oh yes. I love that. I love that. Seriously. <laughs> let me know. Awesome. Thank you. All right. Bye. Bye. All right. Thank you so much for joining us. That was Leah McSweeney from not just Bravo Housewives, but she also has her brand Married to the Mob, which you should definitely check out. I was looking for my Married to the Mob shirt. I forgot to tell you that I really wanted to wear. Um, it, it says anything you can do, I can do bleeding, which is fucking awesome. Um, so check out her brand and then also check out her podcast, which I have actually been a guest on before. Uh, which is improper etiquette and you can see that on iTunes or hear it on iTunes or Spotify or anywhere else I'm pretty sure um, Later this week. We will be back with Angela white uh, That's gonna be on Friday. She's our guest and then on Sunday. I'll be doing an episode of just the tip with Demi Sutra um, So thanks for joining me guys. Bye